Today I'm going to show you how to add a third person controller to your VR experience using VRIF and Invector third person controller Lite. If you have the Invector asset already imported, you should see a tab at the top here. Go ahead and click that and you'll see it's really, really, really simple. It basically walks you right through it. So in a lot of ways, you're pretty much already done. It's that simple, but there is a couple of the changes we got to make. Otherwise, it's not going to really work for the uh, experience that we want. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually set the jump button. You don't have to do this. You don't have to have the character jump, but I think it's kind of cool. So we want to set the jump button to joystick button zero, and that's going to be the A on the right controller. As you'll notice, we are moving around with the character, which is something we don't want. It can be kind of disorienting and probably isn't a very good experience. So we're going to fix that. So what I've basically done is I've taken the menu panel that already comes with VRAF and I duplicated that and moved that over to the right side. So I basically have two menu panels and when I hit the menu button, uh, on my left controller, it toggles that on and off. And you'll see that I created two buttons. I have a controller of Princess Venora there, and then I have a controller of you, which would be the player. So you could toggle between controlling and using the vector controller to control the character or to move around in the VR world. So under the button for Venora, we are going to create, we're going to do the on click and we're going to have five different slots. Two of them will be for Princess Venora, the uh, Invector controllers. Uh, we want to, when we hit Venora, we want to enable her Invector controller and then her Vector input. We also want to toggle on the U button that we're going to use to toggle back and be able to control the VR rig and then toggle off the Venora button because we don't need that while we're being able to control her. And the last one that we're going to have is the player controller, the smooth locomotion. Uh, we want to toggle that off when we're controlling her. And then when we go into the U button, that we're using to control ourselves in VR space. We want to basically just copy and paste all of those different things under the on click and then just reverse everything. So now we mostly have it together. So now we're ready to test it. And you notice one problem is that uh, when Princess Venora runs into us as a player, it moves us around. Um, it kind of is a little bit disorienting because we forgot to do one thing, and that was to make her top layer that has the collider and the rigid body and make that a grabbable layer. So that's all we have to do is go back in and change that up. Now that, that, now that that's done, we pretty much have everything set up the way we want to. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun here and see if I can't I'm gonna see if I can't get her to uh, jump up and turn that bed over on the side, just because it seems like it's something that'd be fun to do.
And we have success. But anyways. Yay! But anyways, that's all I got for this right now. This is something kind of cool that I've always wanted to do. I think the Invector Light, um, third person controller light, is the best third person controller that's free uh, that I've found so far. Uh, the 3D game kit um, works pretty well, and there's a couple other ones that work pretty well. But this is really simple and does exactly the things I want to do to be able to do with it. But anyway, let me know in the comments if you want me to maybe do another tutorial on this and kind of maybe tweak things a little bit. Um, as you notice, she could jump pretty high. I don't think she should jump that high. Uh, maybe go into there and tweak that just a little bit and make that just eh, so she's not kind of jumping almost all the way to the ceiling. Um, or if there's anything else you want to see me uh, show you how to do, that'd be awesome. Let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Well, I'll see you all later.